hello and this is another one of my videos and if you've read the ones before and if you've seen the ones before you know that I'll start with a ovalish blob kind of like that except not pointy at that side so that out okay now start at the widest part here and go down to like a very curved V and come up like that now start at the very top and go down to the line to where the very tip is. This is just so that it helps you mark where your face is going to be. Now, also start here. We're going to be doing the hair now. So now we're going to do the fringe. So you can do the fringe however you like, but I'm going to do like a little that, you know. Do it however you like. And, as you know, that your hair isn't actually a part of your head. So start start here, then go just above here, like that. See that little dot? It's just above that line. So go down, go around, down like that. Since the hair isn't actually a part of your head, it's on top of it. Do the same with the other side. Okay. Now rub everything inside it. Okay. Redo any lines that you accidentally erased. Then, trust me, this will get helpful. Uh, this line that you helped mark with your face, just do that over here again. Okay, now we're going to start doing the hair, the actual, you know, long part of it. Um, I'm probably going to do two little ponytails, so um, do three little bumps, like that, and on the other side like that, then do that again. It, it can be two little bumps if you like, but yeah. Now, one of the dents in... Now just do that. Do that with some of them. And just do little lines. That helps it crease overwards like that. Now, here's the ponytail. Do like that. Do a little swerve little thing. Then come up again. Like that. Now a line like that. Out, in, again. And then go down like that. Okay, now since I'm doing two ones, uh, two of them, then do the same on the other side, but since she's facing all that way, you don't want to do three bumps, you just want to do two, one, two, because this head is probably covering the third one. One, two. And, yeah, so do more lines again. Yeah. Then, again, just do like swerve, in again. And yeah, then like that, like that, okay. Now we're going to do the face. Start with the two lines meet, go down, then up again for the nose. Then start slightly above the this line and do an arch overwards like that. Do the same with the other side. Then start at the edge here. And go down like that. Down like that. Now, if I were you, do not make one of the eyes bigger than the other, because when you rub it out and do it again, it'll make it'll seem like the character has wrinkles under its eye. It'll make it look old. Now, rub everything inside of it. Redo any lines that you accidentally did. Oh, uh, sorry, undid. <laughs> now do two little bubble kind of things. And then this one, this hair is kind of covering it, so just do half of one on this side. And another here. Now start uh, at the top here, and go down with another curve. This is the pupil. Go down again. Okay. Now her smile. 
She doesn't have to be smiling, of course. Just a little... I'm going to make her really happy. So, a curve like that. And down again. But her, it's going to be a bit pointy-ish. It's not like a perfect one. Got a little line underneath it to show the creases. Now, this is where this line comes important. Start here and just do whoop. Whoop. Okay. And as you get further away from the face, get curvier and curvier. Of course, if you want her to have messy hair, then you'll probably, like, you know, do curly well, curly while you're going down. And, of course, do the same with the other side. Then with the same with the ponytail. Start here and go down. Whoop. Whoop. Like that. Same with the other ponytail, of course. Now, now the actual body. Start here, then just move your pencil up just a bit. And then do the same. Make sure they're level. Otherwise it'd look a bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, actually I'm probably going to do this one a bit lower. Because then it can go up. Like for the shirt that she's wearing. But I'm not going it all the way. Because her shoulder's in the way. And I'm probably going to do it, like, you know, three quarters. Like that. Well, apparently it's not in the way, so I'll just do that. <laughs> and then do a line down. Okay. Then this is her actual body. Do a swerve like that if you want her to have breasts, of course. Then go down like that. Then there's going to be three quarters across here for her other sleeve. Now, this one I'm probably going to just have her have a long shirt instead of an actual dress. So I'm going to stop it like that. Then I'm going to do her pants. Um, and since it's a long skirt, you won't see the crutch of the pants. So, yeah. I'm going to do it here to here. Okay, lines like that. Now her shoes. I'm going to go across like that, down and down again. These are like boots. Now the same with the other, but for this one I'm probably going to do it like that. Then down like that. Okay, so she's bending it over like that. And yeah, do the boot again. And now I'm going to do her arms. And I'm going to do this one like that. Now do two fingers quite far apart and then a thumb. Then do a little finger in there like that. You can do the same with the other, which I will. Two fingers quite far apart. Oops. <laughs> Leave a gap for the thumb. And then another finger. And I'm probably going to redo that because her hand looks really thick. <laughs> okay. Now... Yeah, so that's actually her now. Now we can add all the details and colour. First, we want to rub out the markings that help to mark the face since you've done the face. <laughs> Redo any lines that you accidentally rubbed out. Of course, except the lines that you just rubbed out and were meant to rub out. <laughs> and now you can do her tongue. Now, we're going to do detail in the shoot, just two, around three dots like that. Then go dot, 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 like a zigzag line. And that shows like she has laces or something. Okay. Now, obviously, she can have necklaces or anything like that. 
And yeah. I'm going to start coloring now. Okay. So I'm going to color this shirt in this color. And if you probably already know of, of the other videos that I've done, I like to, if I do one color, then I like to do something else the same color so that they match. But of course, I don't always. But yeah, I just like to. And I'm also going to do little frills at the end, like that. Now her pants. I'm, if you have the same pencil set, I'm going to do violet for her pants. And I'm just going to lightly do that. And I'm also probably going to do her uh, things like that. I'm going to do things violet. And I'll probably have her shoes turquoise it, that my pencil says, but um, I think I'm going to do light blue. I'm just going to sharpen it. That's a bit too sharp, but whatever. And I'm just going to lightly press over it like that. I know it's not the same as, not the same colour as the shirt, but what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make her eyes the same colour as this. So what you want to do, just lightly out of the pupil, just do a line against it, and that shows the colour of her eyes. You probably can't really see it very well, but yeah, I'm doing light blue just around the edges of the pupil. Now we'll colour in the pupil. I'm going to do mine black, but yes, you can do yours any colour you like. And do the same with the other. Now you can leave her hair white, of course, but I'm probably going to do hers uh, golden yellow, as my pencil says. Okay, and I'm going to do the same pattern as you did for these lines. Curve over like that. And get curvier and curvier. But yeah, don't do circles like that. Just do lots of lines. Do the same with the ponytail. And of course the other ponytail. And yeah, that's her hair. Now with my pencil set, I'm going to use peach for her skin. And I'm just going to lightly do it. Unless of course you want her to have dark skin, which by all means just press harder. Or if you want, you can just, you can do her skin light brown. Or black. Or pink, whatever you like. <laughs> Just lightly do it. That's her skin. Now I'm going to do her eyebrows. The eyebrows are pretty simple. Just do lines like that. Right now she looks a bit evil. Yeah, I'm probably going to fix that. <laughs> Try not to do her eyebrows too dark because then it might look a bit weird. a bit weird. Just do generally light streaks or one thick line. Okay, now her mouth. I'm gonna use red orange for her tongue. Press down pretty hard. Then for the background, I'm gonna use actual red. And I'm going to press pretty hard with that too. Okay, that looks really strange. Mm. 
That's why you sharpen pencils. <laughs> so that it doesn't look weird. And I'm going to lightly use black on the inside of that. And rub out anything you don't like. Now normally I would do freckles on her just to make her look more realistic. But I think this girl looks good without them. So yeah, please subscribe if you already haven't. And also, if you'd like me to draw a specific kind of girl, like, you know, a punk rocker or a princess or anything like that, just comment below and I'll teach you how to draw it. Warning though, I cannot draw boys. 